feel like my shirt's riding up. Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well. I thought today I would do an unboxing video for you because I got a rather large order from the Little Dollhouse Company in Toronto. Um, I wanted to invest in actually wiring my dollhouse that I'm working on, Lavender Hall, with lights. I originally was going to use uh, batteries, but it became pretty quickly apparent that completely battery powered lights would just be madness in a house of that size. So uh, I've been saving up and uh, invested in, I'm hoping, enough uh, lights, at least the ceiling lights, for the whole uh, house and um, a couple of other battery powered lights as well. So. Let's open it up. Oh, I think I need to replace my X-Acto knife blade. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Peanuts. You know what, I think this is such a huge box. Um, I'm gonna put this on the floor, I think, and uh, pull stuff out of it from there. Oh. All right, I'll pull out a few things and then we'll talk about them and then I'll pull out a few more. So the first item in this box that I wanted to talk about is this wiring kit. Our own complete wiring kit. It includes a transformer, 12 cores with plugs, a single outlet, one spool of extra wire, a power strip with fuse and a test light. Gives you everything that you need to wire your dollhouse so uh, including instructions it says oh that box says nice to meet you in the crowd odd anyway so this is going to be kind of the basic pieces that I need hopefully this is the wiring is new to me on this level um, I've been doing some very rudimentary wiring of lights in a couple of book nooks that I've been working on lately. More about that later. Um, but this is the most in-depth wiring that I have attempted to, will be attempting to do. So fingers crossed, thumbs up, Bo both at the same time. So we have the first couple of lights here. There was only two left in stock. So I thought might as well get two. I'll probably use the other one for um, some other purpose. Um, ceiling light with a fan. And I knew I wanted this for the master bedroom in uh, Lavender Hall. Ooh, it is delicate. Um, can I take it out of the packaging? Oh, I can. There we go. So, look at that little light. Oh, I love it. It's so beautiful. This is going to be my um, outside light, my porch light for the outside. Um, now I've already more or less finished the walls on the ground floor, so hiding this wire might be a little bit tricky, but we'll see how creative we can get with it. A couple of ceiling lights, just dome ceiling lights, frosted domes. Some of the uh, roofs aren't terribly or some of the ceilings are not terribly high in lavender hall um, so you don't want a chandelier hanging down like in every room um, obstructing space so um, i got a couple of dome lights one for the bathroom particularly um, and one for um, just at the top of the stairs there's sort of like a second floor landing area um, and so i got those for those oh this package has been open before but that's okay this is a chandelier because this was open already i can actually pop it out without too much problem a three three tulip chandelier it's gold now initially i wasn't really planning on gold fixtures necessarily i was going to try to stay with um, black or silver or some combination of the two um, but 
beggars can't be choosers sometimes when it comes to some of these light fixtures. So uh, my plan now is to work some, mix my metals a little bit and add some gold accents into the rest of the room just to make the fixtures not stand out so much. Yep, mix my metals a little bit, nothing wrong with that. Another couple lights that are both the same. Uh, it's my intention to use these in the kitchen as kind of spotlighting over top of um, where the uh, cabinets and the stove and the sink are to kind of light up um, the kitchen area. I do have a sort of chandelier that will go over the breakfast nook, kitchen table area. Uh, but these are for the rest of the kitchen. Can you have too much light in a dollhouse? I'm not sure. And finally, we have actually some battery powered lights. Um, did get a few battery powered lights. Actually, this one's not battery powered. This is the wall sconce for the bathroom. <laughs> but the rest of these are battery powered. Now these, these two are actually for um, a different project that I'm doing. Uh, I'm doing an Alice in Wonderland inspired book nook right now. Um, pictures of those will be coming shortly. Some of you might have seen me post on Instagram about making the doors because it's a uh, hallway of doors inspired. And uh, I really, there's a, couple, there's a couple lights in, in that book nook, but um, I did want a ceiling light. Is the battery already in this? Oh, it is. Look at that. How cool. Anyway, so this will be um, the battery powered um, ceiling lamp for uh, the Alice in Wonderland book nooks. And I have, I'm making two identical book nooks. And so they're both going to have this, the globe. That's very nice. Um, the semi-transparent globe light. And finally for the living room in Lavender Hall, uh, over top of the couch, uh, in the main living area, I couldn't find a wired light that I loved. And I found, I saw this light and fell in love with it and it's battery powered. And I thought, oh, I'm just, I'm just gonna get it battery powered. Um, but look, look at this, how beautiful is this? I'm gonna even stand up to show this to you. Look at that. Oh, there you go. There we go. So beautiful. That is definitely going in the main room, the living room in Lavender Hall, for sure. Well, there you have it. This unboxing was completely lights or light related. Uh, hopefully it brightens your day some. <laughs> I know it's definitely brightened my day. I'm very excited to get into uh, wiring and starting to see the dollhouse come to life. Thank you for watching. If you like this video and like to see more things like this, uh, more behind the scenes and tutorials, um, I don't get big orders like this, so I can't really say unboxings is something that you'll regularly see. But if you like these videos and you wanna see more behind the scenes and tutorials and um, just entertaining, funny stuff about uh, the hobby, do subscribe, click like on this video, subscribe, hit the alarm bell to be notified when I update uh, my YouTube with new videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.